Uh, hello, uh, I'm Jordan I'm from the UK. I've been uh, working at Pacific Harbour Multicultural School for the last uh, couple of months now and like, I've had the best time ever. I'm not just saying that, it's really, really good here. The Fiji is a beautiful country. Um, like, um, everyone is really, really friendly and very genuine, really like polite and are genuinely interested in you and your background and they want to tell you about their stories and their background, which is really interesting and yeah, it's good. Pacific Harbour is around um, an hour or so um, west of Suva. Yeah, it's, it's in a beautiful place. Um, the school is literally across the road from the beach. The beach is beautiful and yeah, it's a really nice, happy place. It's, a, it's described as a multicultural school. Um, you've got kids, it's around 80% Fijian kids and 20% um, expatriate children. So from New Zealand or Australia, the, um, Canada, etc., etc. The head teacher who runs the school is a really lovely lady. She'll mother you loads when you get here. She's been like my second mum here, as well as my Fijian mum. I'm Bulavinaka. I'm Janet. And I've been teaching in Fiji since 1986. And you have no idea how rewarding it has been. And it's even more special now that we can have volunteers come and help us. Here's one of them here. His name's Jordan. He's from England. But we love to have volunteers from New Zealand, Australia, anywhere. You're all welcome to come and help us teach these wonderful children all about living and about life and about appreciating our environment. Give it a try. Come and teach with us. Thank you. <laughs> that was great, Janet. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a really, really uh, nice place to work. Um, like, you're, you're treated as a proper teacher. Don't let that scare you because you're going to be thrown in the deep end, but it's fine. Everyone here is supportive and helps you through it. The kids are great. They're really enthusiastic. There's no like, uh, problems with like, bad behavior like we have at home. And, and you can, uh, whatever your strengths are, you can incorporate that into what you want to teach. Like I wanted to teach stuff about human rights and the environment and I've got been able to do that. And also, I also like sports, I get to teach the kids swimming every Friday and uh, take them for pee on Thursday afternoons and I get a buzz out of just having like good time with the kids as well. So uh, one thing I will um, say is um, before you come to Fiji, try and um, rid yourself of all the um, images you might have in your head already about the palm uh, palm tree islands and uh, the beaches and stuff, which it does have, but it's not really the real Fiji. And it, the Fiji that I've had, I've experienced is definitely the real Fiji and the better Fiji. Being able to walk around the village and people coming up to you and just wanting to ask you questions and tell you about their lives and their traditions, their cultures. So hopefully if you're lucky enough to come here as well, I'm sure you have a great time like I had.